motion is for uh, the rain. Okay. Uh, yeah, just pretty general with your fingers coming down. Okay. Yeah, you can even make snow. And if you go like this, I can see it. That's about the extra. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, next motion, what do you think the whole motion is for a flower? Wow. This is. the side, flip and pinch, making the bud of the flower, okay? Now next motion, what do you think the full motion is for a tree? Okay, some people don't, some don't. Uh, like I saw in some places, we're going to put our hand flat, or the hand goes on top, we have a palm tree. Alright, now last one. What do you think the full motion is for the ocean? Okay, I can see we all live in very different oceans. <laughs> but like I saw in some places, take it up to the side once again, make nice gentle waves. You can even make a barrel of wave crashing onto the shore. Okay. Alright, Mahalo, thank you for trying these out. The reason why we did this is because Hula is very versatile. Unlike the American Sign Language, Pudo represents many different things instead of just one thing. Like how this beautiful flower may also represent a beautiful young woman. Or how this tree might also represent a young man who stands tall and proud. I want you all to know that Pudo is how we share our stories and pass down our genealogy. Another way that we did this was through Oli. Can we all say Oli? Oli. Alright, Oli is the Hawaiian word for chant. Today we'll be sharing with you a chant entitled O Kalapana Kaileonui. It talks about a fishing village on the Big Island which was unfortunately wiped away by great lava flow. To this day we're trying not to mourn for them but actually to remember them through Buddha and Oli. And so we're sharing with you the Oli entitled O Kalapana Kaileonui. into English talks about the great voice of the sea of Kalopana. How it's so loud that it's almost deafening and you can hear it all the way in the uplands of Bole. We're taught that the deeper meaning of that story is that the voice of the sea actually represents the voice of our ancestors, calling us and telling us to always remember them. Alright family, so now that you know what the story of Kalapana is talking about and you're familiar with some hand motions of hula, we're going to share some basic feet patterns because out of all of the islands in Polynesia, hula does have the most feet patterns making it not only beautiful to watch, but also difficult to, to master. So now our friends up here, they're going to share with you those basic feet patterns. They want to bend their knees, keep their posture straight, and swing their hips side to side. This motion can represent that wherever you travel in life, you'll always find your way back home. And so we call this step Kahoro. Now this next one is called Hello, which means to spread forward or to spread out. So that's what our dancers do with their feet. They also keep their feet flat on the ground, 
and they start swinging their hips, keeping the posture straight. But this motion can represent the waves of the ocean as it crashes on the shore and then recedes back. So we call this step hella. Now onto our next one is called uwehe. Uwehe means to open. So family and lotus are dancers. When they put one foot on the ground, they want to pop both their knees out and open to kind of represent the rain as it falls from the sky and makes a splash upon the ground. And so we call this step uwehe. Now this one is our crowd favorite, it's called Ami. Ami is where dancers are rotating their hips in a circle in each direction, but you'll notice they also keep their feet stationary. This motion can represent the whirlpools of the ocean, and as we get closer to the center of whirlpool, we have a quicker motion called Ami Kuku. Wow, I really hope they ask us to try those dance moves out. So family, equino kako means everyone stand up. Please rise and join us. We're just trying some basic feet pattern of hula all together. Awesome. Now on to our next one is hella. Now right foot out and left foot. You keep your feet flat on the ground. I know it's tempting to do the hokey pokey, but please don't shake it all about. All right. Good job, family. Before we move on, come out. Until stories, but it's still distinctly Hawaiian. 
And with that, we'd like to share the same story of Kalapanga, but through Awana. Let's invite to the stage the beautiful Amelia. Let's give a round of applause. Oh, it's in the middle. We have boys. 